Oh. Now we're live. live. You don't have a yeah. head. Uh, oh, I am torts headless. <laughs> there you go. Wait a minute. I... Trail and error. Trail and error. Let me try it. Hard to do, huh? Pop it up. Uh-oh! Look what I did. Yeah, we'll just get rid of that. There we go. There we go. How's that? There we go. Yeah, you're better. Oh, wait, oh, no! What's the sagging? Yeah! <laughs> uh, does that look bad? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That looks really balanced right now. Yay! We got okay, it. we got it. <laughs> We're on it. <laughs> we made now it. Now what do we do? Oil well, for the bed. It's Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It is... Yeah, <gasps> Look, she slumped over the. Yes, it's definitely Tuesday today. It's and Tuesday. It's, uh, I'll be late. We're not that late. Am I supposed to open the mail? Yes, you have to do the mail. Okay. Hello, my love dog. Why did I do that? Oh. It's getting hot. Oh, oh, it's getting hot. Oh. No, that's not the right thing. <laughs> oh, I don't know who opened my. We got my mail opening device. I don't want that one. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah. And this one is, oh dear, B3A4W1. Highfield Park Drive. I don't know where. <laughs> you don't behave. You mind your manners. He's like, who brought children to the house? Huh? He's like, who brought children? He's like, I don't like children. <laughs> okay. You can look in there. Thanking you. Sometimes it's easy to forget just how much goodness there is around us. You're right. <laughs> Two dollars for your... Your... Oh, for the fun fun. I couldn't tell whether it was maybe the swear bear or the... Jail. Or if it was a swear word. Yes, excellent. <laughs> Positive thoughts for you and Janine. Hope your day was grand. Heather, Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, and Doug. Well, Doug, nice. Thank you. And the fun fun goes in that one. That was kind. And this one goes over here to you. Thank you very much. And we open another one. Yes. Maybe if we can find one. Bridges and tunnels. <laughs> Payment oh, oh, processing. Oh, 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 I know what that this is. This one's not mine. I've got one of those on the dashboard of the car. Yeah, right. That's an easy I got a lot of these. I don't know why they keep coming with my name on them. Tolls yeah. by mail. $23.64. That could be worse. Oh, that's just a small one. I'll take that. Yeah. Are you going to take it and pay for it? I'll put it with the other one. Oh. <laughs> Great, thanks. Sort an old dashboard. dashboard. There you go. There you are. I'm storing them. And then we have Dia Rotten. Oh. From oh. Char ah. Chardon. Ho Ho. Ah. This is easier than the other thing. Oh, oh is it? It's a pair of scissors. See, who would have thunk it? I got it. Thank you. Oh my. It says Equine Rescue Network on it, and you opened it. Oh, it that's is. fine. <laughs> it says, Hi, Carlene and Janine. Well, you'll have to be us. Here's that month's donation. Thank you very much. Okay, so that goes in another pot. Yes. To be processed. Thank you. That's, Judy pulls them out and deposits them. Thank you very much, D. Okay, and this is Jan Gerhold. Mailed it on the 14th. This is the 20th. 20th. 26 days. <laughs> it's from down the street. Nice That's services. yours, okay. Thank you. I wonder what the services are so funny. Oh, don't use a big word when a diminutive one will suffice. And that goes in the fun fund. In Montana, oh, these are good. It's legal to salvage road 
kale for meat. <laughs> I thought quite a lot of people did that. <laughs> right, I didn't know it was just Montana. Mm. Your shin will be used to f find furniture in the dark. Yes. Yes, that's true. Okay, we'll put those over there. Well, we can look like another one of these I ones. hate to say it, but... Uh-oh. <laughs> easy pass. <laughs> we'll just take it, will I? Well, no, well, you have a look at it. She's going to see what that mount is. <laughs> this might be a, what we need to use our jail money for. Right. <laughs> Thank you, you can unlock it. This is $7.45. Is that yeah. it? That's it. The one that got me was the one that put a $50 charge on it or something. They sent us that in the mail for $7. Yeah. yeah. Current mm -hmm. toll charge is $6.80 and the fee was $0.60. Cents. That was probably the postage. Payment due by July 17th. Something or other. Thank you. Okay. And on we go. From someplace else. I can't tell you where it's from, but it's British, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oops, missed. Missed. Thank you. There you go. Oh, Lancashire, South Links. Where? Lancashire. Oh. From the Royal Mail. Best right. wishes for future of Crazy Acres Farm. From Susan, Southport, England. Oh, lovely. Money for the fun fund to spend on whatever you want or need. Isn't that great? That was very kind. Very nice. Thank you very much. That goes in there and this goes over there. Girls. Did, they want to, you. did you want them to stay up? We can make them stay up there. I'm thinking about the dog kennel. Just over there, right. Okay. And then this goes. That's me. Margaret. From LA. Margaret Walsh. It's got a different. Oh. You can look down in there. Thank you. Oh my. If you want happiness for an hour, take a nap. If you want happiness for a day, go fishing. If you want happiness for a year, inherit a fortune. If you want happiness for a lifetime, help someone else. That's not a bad one. No. Chinese proverb. Huh. My happiness do is a donation to Crazy Acres. Oh, thank you. It's very kind. Ten for the fun fun and ten for the hay. Very That's nice. the first time a 20 has been split. Huh. Um, how do I do that? No, I'll figure it out. I'll figure that out. We'll keep that saying because maybe I can use that. There we go. We'll put it in the duty pile. Okay, I think that's it. The shade store. We don't need shades, do we? I don't know. I haven't got a house yet. Well. But I might mean something. I'm not going to look there, though. That's going to be too expensive. No, thank you. I'll use a tarp. Exactly. <laughs> and a staple gun. Staple gun with a yep, tarp. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Nope. Oh, there's the kit. There's the. Now, did you get that big I'm one? I'm not done yet. Yeah. Is this the one that the lady's been looking for? I don't know. Who is it? Oh yeah. Hand cancel. This is from Nancy. Yes. Sounds her mom. What does hand cancel mean? Don't put it through the machine. Right. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it is. I don't know. And now we do. So we don't put it through the machine, but we take the scissors to the end of it. I'm only cutting off. Look at that. Look how delicately I That's cut that. That's beautiful. I didn't cut enough. Here we go. Excellent job. 
What on earth? Ah. Ah, ah. Something oh. fell out. Oh, look. COVID tests. I'm, a, I'm very busy here. Oh, you are. COVID tests? Yes. Oh, COVID-19. Testing. There you go. Okay, that'd be interesting. Thank you. Huh. Okay. She's made you stickers. Stickers. For putting on your mail. Yes. Your return address. Is it Momo? Miss Mo? It could be. It could be. That's lovely. That's very nice, yep. Yeah. I can't get it. There we go. Some Mo address labels. Oh. And COVID. Got the mail. Nancy. Thank you very much, Nancy, for thinking of it. Okay. That's lovely. Now, this one is the huge excitement. Oh. <laughs> ho, ho. Ho, This, I think, is a new remote for the chair that the dog has been sleeping in because I don't dare get in it. The last time I did, I had to get Matt Mark in here to get me out of the damn chair. And there's, Nancy says there's two COVID tests in each box, so that's four. Okay, I'll do one today. So you can behave yourself. Hand control guide. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe that is the right one. Because it's not this one. Mm -hmm. It could be it's that one. Okay. Did Factory. you have to buy that? Yes. Oh. It was $55 postage, they said. What? Yeah, right. For a remote? Where did it come from? WSR Solutions. In what state? <laughs> Virginia. We could have picked it up on the way to auction, for goodness sake. Huh, at any rate, well, at least I think I have it. Is that it? That, that is it. Mm. Isn't that wonderful? We hope. We hope. We hope. Mm. Well, I think it, that's it. That's the one I had. If it's the right one, I don't know. There's a lot of this stuff. Sometimes that can come in handy. I know it, but you gotta be able to find it. Yeah, and Janine will make us put it in the bin. She will. Oh, Lord. Because we'll get in trouble if we keep things. <laughs> Woo, Kurek. Yeah, did this, did this. The coffee? Well, she made, she made a statement that she was going to all of a sudden take a week off and help me move. And I, I don't want to move that fast. I thought she was taking a month. Oh, well, it could be. Weeks short. <laughs> she tried to get flat. No, I should be. No, she, I think she said she was going to take a sabbatical. Because yes. this is of epic proportion. It is of epic proportions. Yes. We had epic proportions before. And we back. I, I don't want to move that fast. You know? You know what this is? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that's lovely stuff. That's because that was out of it. I had one left. Does it go in your Keurig? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Doesn't it go in the Keurig? Yeah, little potty things. Oh, that's cool. I didn't you want know to put that in the drawer? I didn't know they made that. They make everything in the Keurig now. Now look at what we've got this thing. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to find it. Sitting in there on his neck. <laughs> I had a pop, pop in it. That's a nice box. That's a good secure box. Yep. I need to take a picture of the box. Oh, to get that picture coming out of it. Yeah. It's quite a nice size. It would get the thing in it with a curve. You know. Yeah. Like that. What are you doing? You know the picture of the animals? Yeah. You could take another picture of it. Where, where do we save boxes? <laughs> no, we, we actually hide boxes. <laughs> we're not saving them, we're hiding them. 
Okay. You shouldn't say that. I'll be censored online <laughs> by Janine <laughs> for keeping trash. Uh, all right. Now what are we doing? Oh, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Texas. They've got 102 degrees. Wow. That's horrible. Yeah, I went mm. in somewhere in the store. I said it was like 112 the other day. I guess. That's disgusting. I That's did, far, too that far too much. Far too much. And in Manitoba, in Canada, it's 95, but it feels like 109. That's even just... Where's Manitoba? In Canada, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I was going to say, I don't even know where that is. No. It's up there, so it, but that's it's up there. It's high, isn't it? Well, yes. It's not on the border somewhere, we don't have that. No. All right. Your mummy's watching. I saw that. Get to wave to mummy. <laughs> up, wait to Carly's mummy. <laughs> oh, good. She's behaving. Uh, Mark is still here. He's around about somewhere, isn't he? Who? You seen Mark recently? Yeah, he comes a certain days a week. He comes so certain days, days yeah. Mark. Mark. Yeah. yeah. He comes certain days a week. Yes. He works. And uh, summer solstice is tomorrow. Really? Is that right? What is the problem with you, dog? It's what are you doing? Hey, be in here. <laughs> Mr. No, Pasta. You can't come in here. Back up. Oh, back. Oh, that's right. Who's, back. Who sent the, the Keurig? Keurig? Was there a note in with the Keurig? No. Huh. Let me see if there's a note in the box. Oh, oh. oh. No, and I didn't have a didn't have a thing inside it either. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe somebody will somebody will maybe see. And then this lady asks, "Where are you moving to?" Hopefully the laundry building. Yes. Hopefully the laundry building. And I know I gotta try to throw laundry in there. I do it every night so I can't get laundry in. <laughs> no. Right. <laughs> the Keurig pro product was hot apple cider with cinnamon. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Apple yeah. Cider. Now the map. Yes. We're yeah, about. We, we'll do the map. Let's we'll pl let's that. plan a day. Let's not do it today. No, I haven't we'll got my glass. I need to bring my yeah, glasses. Have to do another day. Yeah. You want the glasses? No, I need really precise glasses. Why? Because my eyes go all over the place. Oh. Um, got to get that sorted. Um. Pasta is very tall. Yes, quite lanky, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yes. Um, oh, and it's only 61 degrees and sunny in California. In the, mind you, that's in the Sierra Nevada, Sierra Nevada mountains. That's wow. quite pleasant. That's a nice. Yeah. Why are we here? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Why are we here? <laughs> oh, dear. No. Um... We've got quite a few names for the map. So our pregnant ladies are still just being pregnant. Yeah. We're not really in a hurry. <coughs> which is um, which is just what they do. Somebody likes my doggy sock. They do like that. Was I, the next, I just read that, that up there. That was the next bit. Oh, wow. And I can... then... Uh, do you want to just read your own questions? No. <laughs> uh, uh, Self-service questions. So somebody asks, can we ask how your how today in court went? It went. <laughs> <coughs> I think the I think the judge was fine. Um, you know, he's just trying to make it smoothed over best he can. He gave me the right to move in down there. Yes. Um, before that I had to give up stuff. Uh not much, no, though. No. I think, you know, I, you know, he was he was good. He was fair. And we also are supposed to talk it over this week and present him with the final in seven days or whatever. Um, you know, if everybody was happy and cheerful, they could move in anywhere, do anything, and get around, and they'd have no trouble. But to say, rawr, 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 you know, I mean, it's... So, 
They now have an office that's got a full kitchen in it, the only kitchen in the place. And I'm so upset that I can't cook anymore. <laughs> I lost the kitchen. Oh, dearie oh, me. Oh, dear me. <laughs> uh, but you've traded it in for something with, with a place that delivers. Yeah, that's right. right yeah, to the door. I got to... I got to... That's, that's terrible. I can get pizza delivery now. <laughs> oh, dear me. So, that's actually quite quite nice. Yeah, I, I, I'm happy. Yes, I, would, I think I would be that's happy that. today. <laughs> you know, a, a deal is a good deal when everybody's miserable or whatever. Pasta. Yeah. Oh, no, what the heck. Exactly. So, it's, it's worked out quite nicely. So, Pasta needs to run up and down Puppy Hill to build muscles like all the other dogs since we're puppies. Pasta runs up and down the hill to the A field. Yeah, he's he's the, got an even day, steeper hill to go up and down. By the end of the day, he's walking and he up. He walks up so slow. Like and I know. By the end of the day, he's so tired. Because he's tired. Oh, an update on the cameras. I Verizon's know. coming back, aren't they? Uh, all I... Well, I all I... We'll put it this way, all I could understand from the Verizon man was that whatever the problem was with our stuff, there was a kink in the wire outside the house. Mm -hmm. Probably rat, it, so, you know, it, it wasn't dogs, it wasn't, you know, I don't know what it was, but it was outside the house. Yeah. So it had nothing to do with anything Janine did or did not do in here. So that, that to me was a tremendous relief. He also, he also said that there are other problems on the property with equipment, um, and he was going to have to get his supervisor in to solve the rest of the problems. That's right. And that's all I know. And Nick and Janine asked... And then, then, then somebody came along to me later on and said, it's all fixed! So now, whether that's all or whether that's just a kink, I don't know. I now have internet. There's and no the, holding you back now, then. Nope. Right. And the other thing is, nobody understands why I alone had internet when the, when the wire was kinked. <laughs> I alone. My internet came on, and my television was still off. That's weird. It, it, it is weird, but that was, that's <laughs> what happens when you kink a wire. It's not a wire. This is... This is, this is Optic wire. So it's still partially connected. It's something like that. So Janine asked me last night if Nick happened to have a supply of Ethernet cable. And surprisingly enough, he's got copious amounts of it in the basement. And so he has said that he has got more than enough cable to do the camera here and also the camera in the barn. And he'll custom make the size she requires. Okay, I have the little thing that puts the end on. Yeah, talking okay. sciencey nonsense to me. Oh, I'm like, okay. it's a camera, plug it in. Um, but he has got the cable, so we don't need to buy the cable, the Ethernet cable. And that means we can start with fresh stuff, it's all ours, and nobody can complain about cool. it. And um, we might even put a little label on it so we know what it is. There you go. That would be very sophisticated. You now, if Charlie wanted to hire us, that would be fine too. You'd have to get Nick though, because I'm a Scooby. <laughs> Uh, so yes, the cameras, I, I don't think Nick will be, Nick and Kurt and Janine will really have any time till the weekend. Yeah. Uh, Hello! You be quiet! I'll tell them to be quiet. Yeah, no, they sound like Jiminy! I don't need that noise. Hello! No! <laughs> don't say that. Can you back. girls be quiet up there? Honestly, you're causing trouble. <laughs> Poor dogs. Did you no, want to come down? Can come down and get something? They want to come down. You be quiet. Yeah, Put she your head come down. down. What are you coming down come to ahead. get? Come ahead. Right, hurry up. <laughs> Honestly. And you know what I was dreaming while I was having a nap? Was it a food or ice cream? Well, that could be. Oh. No. Maybe getting a... Um, getting another sea faring carton for you to put food stuff in to, when you move. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be a second one put on the top of that one. Yeah. And then we'd have a spiral staircase if we took the spiral staircase out of your place. Then we could have a spiral staircase between the two. Uh-huh. 
all the little. That's what I was thinking while I was taking it out. That's a good idea because then we won't have. Then you have a, a apartment, have... another apartment building. Yeah, because I don't have a little visitors going up my stairs. <laughs> What's this? I have little visitors. Yeah, little mices. Yeah, they like to go up my little spiral stairs. Really? Yeah, they go up my stairs. I can't just tell you those oh. are really advanced mice. I know. Yeah. I don't know how they he does don't it. Need to go up spiral stairs. They do. They go up them. They don't just go up the yeah, wall. Yeah, they go all the way up the stairs. They don't climb the wall. Thump 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 thump. <laughs> oh. Like, Oh, well, do you know what happened? I was showing, you know, showing the house, and I went up to Ava's room and went, Is there a dead mouse in the wall? She went, Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. And it was ripe. It was oh. at the worst point of decomposition. Oh, it, oh. I was like, Oh dear. These are really good mice. They jump over the pads and everything. Well, these were dead. This was dead. No, but and smelly. Two, these two are yeah, too you, You've got they, smart ones. They're oh. dumb dogs. They just sit on the, they jump on the pads. <laughs> um, I didn't hurt my arm. Do you know what it is? Every time Carly makes me go outside, I get the, the mosquitoes and she doesn't. So I know, mosquitoes love. Yeah. About well, I think they seem that they're they're going for me the mosquitoes. So um, I think they go for me instead of Carly. <laughs> we'll be no, they like they like we'll mice. No, 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 no. I win. Yeah, yeah, I've seen when I get out there like the blood. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know why it asks you to join chat. Yeah. Every time you come on, that's a. What happened? Somebody gets asked. Uh, but you're taking that stove. The big stove. Uh -huh. The iron, iron stove. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. And you're not taking the kitchen with you? Yeah. Yeah. That's easy to come in and out. It's been in and out so many houses, that one. What's this? It's been in and out so many houses, that one. Yes. <laughs> no, the, the stove comes apart. Ah. Uh -huh. I could carry every piece of that out the front door, I think. I'm not worried about it coming apart. I'm worried about it coming back together. Oh, no, it's <laughs> fine. Yes? It goes fine. Yeah. All clanks. It's amazing. It all clanks together with no gaps. That is pretty. That's that's workmanship, though, isn't it? It is. The hinge, the hinges slide down in. Mm -hmm. They, you know, and just take the door off, and carry it out the door. Yes. <coughs> it's well made. I'm worried about dropping it on your tool because that that cast iron or whatever it, it is cracks. Crack. Yeah. I don't know how you fix it either. It must be a way. Uh. Um, Stove. You must have to solder it in some way. I don't. I it's don't, like sand when it's before it's molten, isn't I it? I don't know. I don't know either. I, I bet dropped, one of these people knows. I dropped a um, a cast iron pot. You know those Lacruzzi pots. Yeah. Took out the floor tiles and cracked the pot. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that wasn't a happy day. <laughs> if you mind. do nothing. You have no problems. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So we'll get your kitchen down. We we'll just put some put some dollies on the bottom of it and wheel it down the hill. <laughs> and we're all right down. And, and hope it makes the curve. <laughs> we can just attach it to the donkeys. <laughs> no, that's that's just the way we do things around here. I mean, the, this kind of thing was sort of foreign to that poor judge today. Yes. When I suggested peeing in the manure pile, I kind of blew his doors. Yeah, he wasn't conversant in baling twine. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Lucky man. <laughs> so, no, the stove is going uh, because as we've and just... And my cash register is going. And your cash register, essentials. Yeah. Um, I don't know about that. I never thought about that. That piece of artwork. The, the refrigerator. And your refrigerator. That'll be on wheels. That'll be all right. Yeah, that'll be easy. Just push that, put it to the back of the car, right? <laughs> we have no idea no, what's going on with this. Why it's reversed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh. But you're happy. So as, as people are saying, as long as you're happy, they're happy. I'm happy. That's all yes. that matters. <laughs> I'm happy. And then what's going to happen with your house? Will service dog are not coming in here at yeah. the moment? Well, am I allowed to say? Yes, you can say. <laughs> yeah. Um, Elizabeth and some of her tribe are moving in. Yes. With the basement furniture and kitchens. Yeah. We're bringing it all. <laughs> Everything and anything. It's one of these transitional things. You just never quite know. Yeah. 
I think we've got I think we've got enough building materials in the basement of my current home to build and completely fit out your home and have lots extra over to goat houses we were thinking about <laughs> goat houses yes I was yeah. just wondering what I was going to put on the walls of this place. Am I going to paint the walls or what? And it turns out she's got umpteen, 150 feet. Oh, I've got more than that. Oh dear. Well, whatever. She's got an awful lot of this paneling. You just it's thick paneling. Mm -hmm. Just put it on the wall. Then you've got panels. Yep. yep. We're um, we've got. Well, I think we've probably got everything covered. Yeah. One way or the other. Don't sure. send us toilets. No, I'm sure I've seen a toilet somewhere hanging. Have you seen a toilet hanging around somewhere? There's got to be somewhere. There was one. There I've seen one somewhere. somewhere. I'm, I am. Well, I, there was. We were getting ready to put one in down cellar, downstairs here. And I don't think we ever did. There is one somewhere. I honestly have seen a toilet. It's white. White? Well, whatever color. Yes. It was definitely white. And, it, and I've seen it on here. And then I thought, there's a spear, and um, <laughs> well, I always wanted to make a dog watering dish out of it. Well, now you, you push can... the handle and you get another drink. Well, yeah. listen, now you can use it for its uh, <clears throat> its actual task. Um, what is he looking at there? He's spitting out. Oh, hey, that's a... no, he's got mouthfuls. Oh, has he taken something out? Look, he's taken something out of there. What's a monkey? <laughs> Pasta! No, up in your bed. Stella loves to do that. <laughs> it's like every time I come home, there's like puffs everywhere. <laughs> Pasta! Pasta. That's a no. Jiminy's upset. I yelled at him. Look at him. <laughs> He's all upset. Are you watching? He's watching. Are you watching? Hey, hey, watch Pasta, me? don't do that. Where the chickens are living. The chickens are living down the hill. <laughs> They're in the in the white chicken coop, and they seem to have adapted have, have really you, nicely. Have you shown them that contraption? Oh, they asked that you had birds in the house. Oh yes, we've got uh, four cockatiels. <laughs> I can show you them before we go, or I'll take a video and put it online. That's yeah, easiest. That's easier, yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, we knock that thing out, and then we do terrible things. Ah. It's. Uh, Right. What are you having for dinner? What am I having for dinner? Yeah. I could key lime pie was what there I started dinner with. I don't know what else is in there. There's a pot roast or something. There you go. Oh, Carly, yeah. you've got dogs. You yeah. need to explain what they are. My dogs? Yeah, I have two two foxhounds that one used to hunt in the foxhound myopia stewart and we tried stella but she just likes to chase other dogs so it didn't work out so well <laughs> so they're retired <laughs> yes they have to be retired now <laughs> ah so this gentleman had actually said get a porta potty for lynn's office um, ah. And there is actually a disabled porta potty down there. Yeah, I know it. It's available. It's no, it's I, clean, I yeah. ordered it. Yes, it's really. It's well, they clean. complained about the one I had was not up to compliance. What? And this one is under compliance. This is. It's clean. I used it once or twice. Uh ha ha! Was <laughs> was it useful? Yeah, it's clean. Yeah, yeah, it's spacious. Yeah, it's fine. And, and they, they, they come, they come and clean it. Oh, and this is funny. Somebody has just mentioned this. Roger Reed has just said, "Don't forget your bank vault door." Were we not just having a conversation about yes. the bank vault door? Yep. Yeah. That's 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 mm. part of the plan. I do like iron things. Metal heavy iron. Pasta. <laughs> yes, because they kind of last. <laughs> it seems so. Yeah. Oh, he can have that. Oh, he can. You can take that away. You can <laughs> take that away. <laughs> well, that's someone oh, was like, he's eating he's something. I was like, I don't know. That's, he's got two of them somewhere. Okay. I've yeah. taken over these shoes. Okay. Yeah. I, I think, uh, so this is, I'm just going to mention this. Um, somebody is uh, wondering whether or not Lynn knew Carlene and Janine's 
plans for Crazy Acres in advance and if she would have accepted to be head of service dog if she knew all of them. And I think the tone is that um, there's been something that's been developed that, that wasn't in, in line with what's going on. Quite frankly, the horses, mules, donkeys, goats, whatever, have always been here. Um, this is not a new thing. It's not a surprise to anybody. What I think I would be more concerned about had certain things happened and those animals had been removed, they come under the, they would have to uh, come to Equine Rescue Network. And Equine Rescue Network, uh, we have a limited amount of sanctuary space. And to incorporate all the animals that were actually here would severely negate the rescue potential for uh, equine rescue and it would also potentially suggest that we would have to rehome some of the sanctuary animals. Well, more so than that, it's the, it's the donkeys and horses that have en enabled us to be a farm yes. because the dogs are not a farm and we want to maintain our farm Status. So we were very careful all the way along to have a bunch of donkeys and horses here. Whether or not it had an official name or not, that's the way life was around here and is. And, and if somebody comes be. up and needs a home for a bunch of goats, I'm not going to say, oh, just shoot them. No, I'll take them. We'll figure out something. And that's been the way of life around here. You figure things out and solve the problems. And sometimes it gets a little colorful, like the goddamn chickens in the back room here. They did splendidly. It's all cleaned up now. Yes. You'd never know they were there, but by God, they were there the other day. And that was kind of hard to explain to people who really, and they were getting old. Yeah. They had to move. I, I think the suggestion is, is that there's something untoward has happened towards um, Lynn's role. Now, Lynn accepted that role, and Lynn, um, I think, I don't think this has been any surprise. In fact, I, from January, had very many conversations with Lynn about supporting Service Dog um, as separate, separate identities, you know, Service Dog and Crazy Acres, um, and there didn't seem to be any problems. So I don't think anything has been sprung on Service Dog or on no. Lynn. And it's... it's there is so much less going on. Yeah. I mean, back when I was still director, we had 70 dogs on the property, 70 adult dogs. Yes. We had dogs all over the place. They're coming out of our ears. And they went on to become service dogs and get trained. Yes. This outfit has had 17 dogs for a year and a half, and they're not trained yet. Yes. Now, I'm sorry, if you are a dog trainer, an untrained dog will drive you crazy. <laughs> so you train them. And you can't stand to be around a dog that's not trained. But these people are ignoring the big dogs. And they're only paying attention to the puppies. Because everybody, oh, they're cute little puppies. And the poor big dogs are just languishing in the kennels. Yes. Some of them are two years old. Yes. I put out George at nine months. Yes, and look how well he's done. And look how well he's done. Hopefully Pasta's going to be as good. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Pasta said, was that me? He's chewing as a sneaker. <laughs> he's a bright dog. The one thing about him is he lacks the attention to me. I did not spoon feed him mm -hmm. as a puppy. So he's not focused on me or really anybody. <coughs> yes. He's very friendly with everybody. But uh, he, he, he marches to his own band. He's quite independent, isn't he? Is he is very independent. Mm -hmm. So nice that stone feeding is. that you do at a very early age, and if you do it correctly, the, the dogs get bonded to people very, very well. And that, that, that's not happening here. Mm -hmm. he's, although he, he's funny. I, he now knows to get in the back of the car. So now when I scream, get in the back of the car! He'll get in the back of the car, which was a mistake, because now, if I say back, he goes around and looks for a car to get back of. You know? I shouldn't have, should have used some other word. Yes. Any more questions? So, 
So this, the same person who made this, the previous statement said it's not so easy to leave with so many dogs. Lynn is still behind the mission of Service Dog. Many here seem to have forgotten that. And the mission for Service Dog was created by Janine and yourself. Yeah? Janine yeah. had a hand in writing the mission. You both wrote it. Oh, man. He's quite independent, isn't he? Is he is very independent. Mm -hmm. So nice that's spoon feeding is. that you do at a very early age, and if you do it correctly, the, the dogs get bonded to people very, very well. And, and this, that's not happening here. He's, although he, he's funny, I, he now knows to get in the back of the car. So now when I scream, get in the back of the car, he'll get in the back of the car, which was a mistake because now if I say back, he goes around and looks for a car to get back of. You know, I shouldn't have, should have used some other word. Yes. <laughs> Any more questions? So, so this, the same person who made this, the previous statement said it's not so easy to leave with so many dogs. Lynn is still behind the mission of service dog. Many here seem to have forgotten that. And the mission for service dog was created by Janine and yourself. Yeah? Janine yeah. had a hand in writing the mission. You both wrote it. I don't know. Yes, you did. But did I? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. So yes, that mission does still stand and that's wonderful and I'm sure it's been adapted for for the age and times and progress or lack of well, progress. Well, it, it got slid sideways when I am doing more with dogs than anybody else in the public. Yes, exactly. And with these, with these four dogs, yes. we, we try to see 100 people a week. Yes. And Judy saw... I don't know, 40 or so, with just pasta and sizzle. Yes. Today. So I think the I I, I think the first part of the statement is it's not easy to leave with so many dogs. And no. when, when this initially started, there was not a request for anybody to leave. And that's where this has changed. Um it didn't come from it didn't come from Crazy Acres. It was something that grew arms and legs. Um, service dog I was never asked to vacate the property it was a case of behaviors have merited certain interventions and unfortunately it's maybe not gone the way that the initial expectation there's, wasn't met there's so much to figure out in running a place like this that nobody seems to be figuring out they're just plain getting mad and no just and I you think have to figure things out around here. It's, it's, there's too much going on, and you you can't make you can't make a definite decision on anything, really. No, and I think the it other, changes five minutes later. And I think after um, not managing to have any form of constructive medi mediation, and there was a lot put forward. You know, how could we work this out? Let's get this sorted. I think um, the end statement now, after quite a lot of frustration, has been service dog were welcome to stay under new management. Yeah. And I think that so this is not this is not anti service dog. It's the way that this has been handled. And I think that and that's it's a behaviour issue. And that's that's it. No, I, have, I have no objection to the dogs. We no. We would figure something out. That's all. Because that's what happens when you work with animals. I know. You have to figure things out constantly. Just look at those goats, Carly. I know. <laughs> Which I am. Yeah. I throw them. Did you put the goats in with the other people? No. No, I'd like not to throw yet. them in the pond. How come? A little bit later tonight, and maybe just you can't throw them in the pond. They don't swim. <laughs> no, I just throw them around the pond. Let no, me do a little I would like to put. Out. I would like to, the problem we had with them with the main herd was the silly white goats like to headbutt. Yeah, headbutt. Yeah, and they have. And I don't know whether or not they'd settle enough to realise that probably wasn't a good idea, but we've got foam in that box, and I'm sure we could develop helmets. What if we just get, like, noodles? <laughs> well, noodles. you can go right ahead. Well, you can't put noodles. pool noodles on the horns. Noodles, like, no. you know? That's not going to make any difference. Well, they put them on. A lot of times they put them on. Huh? They put them on. What? Noodles on them. What, what do they put on? The, like a noodle. the foam? Yeah, the foam. I never saw it. I think people do it sometimes so they can go out with other animals. I can't have, because it collapses so quickly. I, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe, I maybe. can't imagine it would make any difference. You know, you pinch that, it's right to nothing. Yeah, yeah maybe not. Or we can find something. But I, the thing I want to do with the goats is to put it inside the fence on the 
in the pond area right here. There's so much greenery to eat. Are you are you awake on that one? Yeah, I brought maybe. I was maybe. reading I'm sorry. greenery to eat. I'm multitasking. I was listening. I repeat. I repeated back to you what you said. There is greenery to eat. Yes. Always toss them out in, there in the, the, in the inside in the inside the donut here. In yeah, I usually, I usually yes. leave that open for them. They're not very quick though. No. no I know. I'm a bit disappointed. Do we need more? I know. What do they need to be put in there more? <laughs> exactly. Maybe at night. Why not like this time? I'll there. get Janine on it. She can yeah, find us some more goats. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. oh. I tell you. You know, stuff. Is Lynn saying stuff? We sprung stuff on her. No, it wasn't Lynn at all. It's it was a commenter saying that that when Lynn took this over we kind of like moved the goalposts and created something totally different oh, no. and no. No. that wasn't the case this was always the case in fact i actually originally thought we were just maintaining the animals that yeah. were yeah. resident here no, we didn't spring anything our everyday life around here springs stuff all the time mm -hmm. and you've got to swing with it you can't say no 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 i want it that way because it doesn't happen yeah it doesn't happen no and you have to be flexible because if you're not, this is not going to work. No, you know, like one of the, one well, of those. You're going to waste a lot of time, energy, and money. Yeah, indeed, yeah. You know. And I'm not mentioning what Linda D Daniels has just said. Yeah. Well, so. <laughs> because that's coming up up at some point. <laughs> We're working up to that. Betty White is not Betty White at the moment. She is absolutely filthy. Betty Black. <laughs> well, get her going. Up. I know. <laughs> And she's been very pushy. Really? Yeah. I mean, needing to get back on and sort her out. She's, okay. ne she's needing to remember her manners because she does actually have manners. Okay. I think okay. Kate just got another Western saddle her then and me and Tanny. The fence on, what's Janine, oh, the fence on the Deagle House on Saturday. What's happened to the fence at the Deagle House? Nothing that I know of. I think she's got the wrong, do you know, Janine has, means a nut house. Janine oh. and I go back and forward, you know, it's the left and the right bit. I start saying, and I say, if I'm facing the building and then it's on my right hand and she says, no, that's the Deagle, and I'm like, that's the nut. <laughs> She's like, no, it's a. We go back and forward. We're going to give them numbers or colours. Well, they've probably got they've brown got and red. Already. Brown and red. Because we'll not rem I'll not remember the numbers. I'll get them mixed up. <laughs> the brown, I think she means the brown house because Service Dog, I think they repurposed the fencing from the runs. Yes. The dog runs. So we need to reinstate those three dog runs. So maybe that's what that she's talking nice. about. I'll tell yes. you another thing that gives me great concern that Service Dog Project is not paying any attention to is we lost all our guinea hens, I think, to hawks. Yes. And these puppies are not big enough yet mm -hmm. to be hawk proof. No. That's why we had puppies in the field out here with that, what we call a used car lot with the streamers. Yes. Is to keep the hawks away from the puppies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This has not been addressed, and I just, I just hope. Well, I'm sure they'll get right on that. <laughs> Whatever. Maybe they'll save them. We hung up. I'll tell you what did work. We hung up a whole bunch of old discs. CDs. CDs. Yeah, because right. they glint, don't they? Yep, they they flutter, and that's all you need is stuff like that to yep. keep the hawks away. Have you, on the same subject as birds, have you ever had birds, I eat sliders, and in the win, in the springtime, they hit the windows because it's, so clear. it's mating season, and they see a reflection, and they think it's another male bird, so they fly at it aggressively, knock themselves out, come around, and then do it again. No, I don't know yeah, the point. Oh. The sometimes they hit the I, I, I think this happens in New York City and things, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah. And Boxford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I think I think this will all calm down and it will be 
it will just be business as usual, which will be chaos, because that's what business as us usual is when you're working with animals. Yeah. You know, there's, um, let's see. Nope. Yep. Yes, there is one dead shoe, courtesy yeah. of pasta. Wow. Well, He's yeah. eaten a shoe, oh. but we've Carly's removed yeah, it. Yeah, I gave up on those shoes. Yes. He, he does like them. Yeah, I think mm. fisher cats are, you know, they're problematic in the whole of Massachusetts yeah. with chickens. Yeah. It's just, it's part, you know, it's, you put chickens in a chicken run and then you realise that um, raccoons have opposable thumbs and they can open things. <laughs> yeah. So you use clips and you've got lots of different bits and pieces. And, you know, you just have to work a way around it. And I think we're trying to create Fort Knox and in the hope that that works for us. And well, for the chickens actually. Yeah. Uh, well, these good these chickens are behind wire now. Oh, uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Yes. They're pretty good locks though. They're nice locks. Though. And we and I made extra locks on it. Yeah. And then the wire is super because the gentleman that made that. He did a good job. He did a good job. So the wire comes down, and then he's got a board that sits there, and then it goes underneath. So you can't. You can't flick it out. Yeah. You know, it's a it's a pickaxe. Good job. He did a very good job. It's a pickaxe. He was a guy that just wanted to get away from everything else in the world. So he set up his carpentry thing in the back of, you know, and he was here for like two weeks. We should chase him back down. <laughs> <laughs> see, see where the uh, where he is and if he's got any time and he'd like a bit of headspace. <laughs> oh dear. When's Franny coming? I don't know. Yeah. Who started this rumor? Janine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, an electric fence would be a good idea, particularly for those goats. Yeah. But there's a problem with an electric fence. You can put up as many labels as you like saying that a fence is electrified. You've got dogs on the property. You've got people on the property. Yeah, and sometimes it's slightly problematic. No, yeah. I don't see any problem with people touching that electric fence. Uh, They'll learn not to. Yes, they will. But uh, sometimes people, particularly parents, can get quite uptight about that sort of thing. Well, I, <laughs> I used to pay my kids a quarter to grab a fence to see if it was on. And ask them to lick it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when we had them at uh, Myopia, Mike said, is this really on? I'm like, you feel it. Yeah, went, try it. And he touched it. Yeah, yeah. Like, was like, well, there you he go. Was like, well, you learn quick well, enough. You, know, you, can, you can use a piece of grass. You know I know, that. I told him. He said he wanted to see if it was on. I said, I'm not. <laughs> well, you, you can use a piece of grass. <laughs> said, and you just, know you know, you if that's it. the wire, you, you take it way back here and you slide it yeah. toward, and then, and then you feel a tingle, and then, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. The worst is when someone leaves a chain around the wire. What? Oh, on, yeah. The if it, there's a on. chain around the wire. And someone leaves it on the wire. It goes fence. through the wire. Metal, and you have a metal fence, and someone oh, yeah. doesn't tell oh, you. Sure. I mean, and I better. forgot one time. You forget, and like all of a sudden you grab the gate. Well, the dog they... learned not to touch it, too. Yes. <laughs> You're like, ah! <laughs> well, <laughs> that's true, because people forget that all these in-ground dog fences they've got with the receiver yeah. collars, that's kind of like what they are. Yeah. You know? So the Depends dogs there. do learn. Yeah. Oh, sure. It's just we don't have a beep. I, what I had done in my life was to put an electric fence around some dog food mm -hmm. and let them get shocked and then they don't go near it again. Yeah. And I can put the fence anywhere. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be electric. They're not going to go near the wire. <laughs> no. Yeah, you learn quick enough. <laughs> yeah, well, again. that's true. So you can train dogs not to touch the wire. That's the right way to use an electric fence. Yes. So you can come down now. Jiminy, you're going to behave yourself. You he's behave. Like, he's like... Oh. You want to come over here there. and say hello what, to Jiminy? What are you going to do? Just check on my birds. Well, yeah, you can go check on your birds. Come on, you're all right. Yeah. Mind. Mind your manners. Jiminy, <laughs> I'll throw a shoe at you. <laughs> She's that! I heard that. Not even a little wolf. Bad dog. He's like, but she came back again. She keeps coming back. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh. Really? <laughs> I know, he's like so he's like, he's like, He's like, she'll come back out. <laughs> so, I think we've done all the questions. Yeah, I think so. Is it time? Yeah. It's time.
Oh, it is. You've had dinner though, haven't you? A dessert. A dessert. Well, that's that's that food. is a good part. That's food. So we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. Service okay. as usual. Jiminy, don't even think of it. Jiminy's learning to, to let Sophie walk past without commenting. That's right. <laughs> without having a word. That was a good boy. That was a good boy. You can put your head down now. <laughs> he's like, you're right. He's, he's like, like this is my place. I don't think so. Excellent. So that's us. We're all, we're all sorted, all happy. All, every, all business is taken care of. Yes. Sorry, I hit the button. Just turn it down at the side. You're fine. Okay, so we'll see you tomorrow and I will switch off over here.